Jose downgraded finally. Let's hope that bodes well for us. And I saw Eric tweeting something about Jose not wanting to get out of the bathtub. What does that mean? It's not moving? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> not very quickly. So the Gulf Stream is a good source for hurricanes, right, in tropical systems. And it heads out right about through here. So it hasn't been moving all that quickly. Sometimes it almost seems like these storms can kind of feel where a better environment is. But it's slowly drifting off to the north and east. It is now a tropical storm and that was expected. And we're still talking about the same impacts here in southern New England. Some rain bands moving in, showers, a couple downpours across the area. They'll be on and off periodically throughout the overnight, throughout tomorrow and into tomorrow night and even Thursday morning and afternoon. But most of the heavier stuff will be possible across Cape Cod and the islands. The real heavy core of rain stays just off offshore with Jose. So we're not talking about a major flooding type of issue. It's more actually beneficial rain for a lot of the area that's been quite dry. And you notice as we head toward Thursday evening, it's still just to our east. And I think for anyone from the south shore to the Cape and Islands, you're going to get real sick of clouds and gusty winds over the course of these next few days as Jose is not going to be a very fast mover. It does have a broad wind field and those tropical storm force winds just getting up to about Nantucket and perhaps Cape Cod tomorrow afternoon and evening. That's where we'll see our strongest winds lingering into very early on Thursday morning. Now, these will be on the higher side. Certainly, we've seen higher, but they could bring down a few trees, cause some scattered power outages. As so we head into tomorrow night, gusting 40 to 60 miles per hour on the Cape, the South Coast, and the islands. We'll have 20 to 40 mile per hour winds for inland areas. Lower, farther north, north and west you go, and a little bit higher the farther south and east you go. Issue here is, as we head into Thursday, still gusting. We head into Friday, still gusting. In fact, I think much of the Cape South Shore and the islands will gust 20 to 45 miles per hour right on until Friday night and perhaps even into Saturday. So the continuation of those winds causes a lot of rough surf and a lot of erosion. I still think erosion is probably going to be the biggest calling card with Jose, especially the outer Cape and Nantucket. Minor coastal flooding around high tides. One of those high tides happening shortly in the next half hour. The next one tomorrow right around midday, another one tomorrow night. If we see any moderate coastal flooding, it would be on that north side of Nantucket where we have the strongest winds. And since Jose is just moving ever so slowly, these are wave heights. It stays really rough out in the Atlantic. We'll see a beating on our beaches, but for mariners in particular, it is going to be a very rough go just offshore. Those wave heights staying large right into the weekend. So some impact from a couple of strong gusts tomorrow. Flooding rain, probably not going to be a big issue for us. Coastal flooding, minor to again moderate. Beach erosion, the highest factor with Jose. And then as we look toward Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, it's going to be slowly spinning itself out. And there's still a little bit of uncertainty as to how close it stays to us during that time frame. I do think far eastern mass, especially southeastern mass, we're going to see a lot of clouds, gusty winds, and still some showers lingering into the start of the weekend. The farther north and west you go, more sunshine, brighter conditions. And that goes for the next several days. Then we have Maria. Now, Maria is the real deal. 175 mile per hour winds. The eye wall is now approaching St. Croix. It will cross Puerto Rico early tomorrow morning. Likely the worst hurricane there since at least 1920. And if you look at the list of all-time strongest Atlantic hurricanes, Irma was tied for number two. Now Maria is tied for number four, happening two weeks from each other. There you see the path right over Puerto Rico. And then we'll bring strong winds and heavy rain to the Dominican Republic as we head into Thursday. So here's your seven-day outlook. It's basically all tropics-based. We're kind of waiting for Jose to move out of the way. And David and Lisa, the next couple of days, will be talking about how that will interact with Maria and perhaps bring it close to our coast. We'll have to watch it. Oh, wow. All right, Eric, thank you. Despite